The old man was trying to tell the future, looking for pictures in the campfire. Oh, I see evil, evil born deep beneath the city. Far from the light of day, I see it growing safe beneath a sky of steel. Scheming in the dark, gathering strength. And now, oh, now the evil spreads. It sends deadly feelers over the land above, across the gap, reaching towards this very place. I'd seen him do it a hundred times, but I humored him. After all, he'd been like a father to me. And what does this evil want here? Oh, my son, I fear, I fear the evil wants you. That was when Joey piped up. Sensors detect incoming audio source. The evil, the evil is nearly here. It sounded more like a copter than a demon. But the next thing, all hell let loose in it. Run, Foster, run! Hide from the evil! Foster! Hell! Better make my next body move faster, Foster! He was only a robot. Oh, I love the little guy. Then, as suddenly as it started, the shooting stopped. There was a moment's silence as the copter cut its rotors. Then... Whoever is in charge here, come forward. Now! Only a fool would have argued with that firepower. I am the leader of these people. We are peaceful. Bring him here. At once, Commander Reich. We're looking for someone. Someone who doesn't belong here. Who wasn't born in this garbage dump. Who came from the city as a child. We want to take him home again. My mind racing. I remembered where I'd seen that symbol before. It was the day the tribe found me. The day of the crash. The day my mother died. You all right, city boy? Got a name, son? R Robert. Ah, oh, welcome to the gap, Robert. As he patched me up, the old man had gently explained that there was no way back into the city, and I already knew there was nothing he could do for Mother. His tribe was poor, but they treated me like one of their own. I learned how to survive in the wasteland they called the Gap, and scavenging from the city dumps. As the years passed, I forgot my life in the city, discovered new talents. Ha! I'm your friend. Call me Joey. And got a second name. This is what we'll call you. Now that you've come of age, son, we found you, fostered you, so that makes you Robert Foster. Wasted enough time. Give us the runaway, or we'll shoot everyone, starting with you, Grandad. The old man had been right for once. It was me they wanted. No, my son. Don't let the evil take you. Run! DNA scan confirms it's him, sir. Evil had come to the gap, just as he said. Take him. But had the old man seen why it wanted me, or what it would do next? It was too late to ask him now. Leaving destruction zone, Commander Reich. Good. Detonate. Much too late. Why, you murdering? Keep him quiet! All I could do was wait. Just like on a hunt. Just like the old man taught me. Wait and be ready. It was dawn when we reached the city. Land in the central security compound. A dawn my tribe would never see. They were no more than a note in Reich's book now. Yes, sir. Locking on automatic landing beacon. But what was I? Why did... Sir! The guidance system! It's gone crazy! We're going to hit! Maybe I'd get some answers now. If I survived another copter crash.
What do you want? Looking for a saboteur from the Gap. He crashed a chopper and escaped. Oh, sounds dangerous to me. Don't worry, he's not going anywhere. We cut the power to the elevator. And the crash has blocked the walkway. What if he comes in here? You'll be fine, we posted guards. And Reich wants to hunt him down personally. Reich, eh? This guy must be important. Yeah, we got orders direct from Link. Take him alive before he does any more damage. Best of luck to you. These guys are out to get me, but why? They already destroyed my home and my people. Well, Reich, whoever you are, it's retribution time. Gotta be clever. Play them at their own game. First thing is to get Joey running again. Those stairs don't look safe to me. Those stairs... There. You won't escape that way! He must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. You lucky escape. It's got no circuit board. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional, don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down. And keep out of the way of security. Any human activity nearby? How should I know? The shell sensors are useless. What tools does that shell have? None of any use. Unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool. And an extendable probe. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. 
Find me a new one. What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. What is this place? It's not worth explaining, you're too thick. About that temporary shell, Joey. I don't want to talk about it. I'll find you a new shell, I promise. I should hope so. Marvelous! I get kidnapped. Nearly killed in a copter crash. Hunted by professional thugs. And I'm stuck with a robot in a sulk. We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? Don't you miss our home, The Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Forget it. What do you want? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Nobody told me. I'm too busy to show you around. Don't worry, I can show myself around. You won't even notice I'm here. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap, son. Excuse me. What now? Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Tell me more about the council. They govern the city. With the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Oh, search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. How come your fire exit leads nowhere? You've been up there. It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. So how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. What did security want? After a saboteur. You seen anything suspicious? Only an overzealous security agent. That would be right. Best to avoid him and his bully boys. What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? It's... very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. The futile struggle against entropy. Symbol my bum! <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard graft. What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. What are you doing? Get out! That's my personal property! Hey! 
What are you doing? I told you already. Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator. I can't hear myself think. What are you doing? Get out! That's me personal! I told you to stay off the elevator! That alarm is driving me spare! There's no obvious reason why this droid isn't working. It's wheezing and banging, like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. Can you start that transport? How do you expect me to do that? I'm just a cleaning droid, remember? Excuse me. What now? What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Can you start that transport? You don't give up, do you? Have you found out what's wrong with it? It's the, uh, Knopfler charge reducer thingy. In that case, all it needs is a jump start. This is embarrassing, Foster. You're not gonna watch, are you? I always suspected you of being a voyeur. Come on, just do it. Here goes. There. How was it for you?
A discarded coffee machine? A discard. That's no use. There's no jug. Whatever that was, it's beyond repair. That thing's watching me. Good thing I'm naturally photogenic. That's got to be a way out. I've got nothing that would fit. It must need a special card. No buttons, just a thin slot. You didn't tell me you could fly. I didn't know I had it in me. Can you open that door? I'll give it a try. No sudden moves over, man. Get over to the furnace. You're Officer Reich, I presume. You've made a mistake. I'm not Overman. Link, we can't let him escape. What the hell is going on? Reich seems pretty cut up about it. But he's given me two leads, Overman and Link. He was carrying an ID card. The card may be useful. And I'll take his dark glasses, too. We're way up in the clouds, Joey! We need to find a way to the ground. What do you reckon we should do? See that railing? Uh-huh. Take a jump over it, Foster. Either it's the wrong card, or the elevator's not working. Which means I'm trapped. Having a problem with your card? Let me check that for you. My card is coated with porridge. Porridge? Yeah, I dropped it in my breakfast. I meant to clean it, but I forgot. I've done that so many times myself. Really? It's so easily done, isn't it? You're having breakfast, you're in a rush, and plop. Your card submerged in soggy cereal.
Not you again. Come here. Are you using that dirty card again? I tried wiping it on my sleeve. Give me that card now. If you insist. Hmm. Looks just fine. Must have been a glitch in the scanner. There's one born every minute, eh? That'll teach him not to use stolen ID. Never mind. It's a robot welder. Joey would love that shell. What are you doing? I'm checking the pipes. They have to be perfect. That's ridiculous. If they have to be perfect, they should be checked by a robot. What's that? He's my mechanoid chum, Joey. It's cute. Does it do tricks? Not really. He just follows me around and gets in my way. How do I get down to ground level? Take the elevator. Or the big jump if you're desperate. The elevator's not working. Oh, great. Lamb will be furious if he can't get down to Bellevue for his lunch. Have security been in here? Yeah, they really stirred up. I think they were looking for someone. Look. I'm not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Supervisor's orders. I'm transferring you, lass. I wish you wouldn't call me that. My name is Anita. Don't answer back, woman. Report to the testing room immediately. What are you doing here? Do you know who I am, lad? I've no idea. I don't work here. I'm Gilbert Lamb, the supervisor. Mind if I look around? I certainly do. Who are you? Security. Looking for a fugitive. This factory's been searched already. He's not here. Can't be too careful. Just don't interfere with production. What's that robot doing here? He's my personal assistant. Say hello, Joey. Hello, Joey. <laughs> Pity he's got no brain. Excuse me. Any intruders to report? No, sir. Hey, just a minute. Who are you? Security. I suppose you're looking for the intruder. Yeah. Seen anything suspicious? I've been too busy with this rush job. Don't you get bored working here? Oh, not me. I like my job. What's so good about it? Well, this clipboard, for starters. Look at the finish on that plastic. Lovely piece of lamination. Isn't it just? I can tell you're proud of it. Oh, yes. They don't make clipboards like this anymore. Do you know a guy called Overman? I don't think so. He certainly doesn't work here. Hey! My mistake. I thought it was the John. It's the storeroom. For robots only. 
Lamb doesn't trust humans to go in there, even though there's nothing worth pinching. I want you to check out the storeroom. What's the catch? There's no catch. There could be something useful in there. Don't count on it. Find anything useful in the stores? No, but there's a fuse box on the wall. Connected to the alarm system. Can you disconnect it? Sorry, no can do. That's really put a wrench in the works. Oh no! Production stopped! You wouldn't know anything about it, would you? Me? I'm no technician. Me neither. Lamb will go crazy. Can't you do anything to help me? I don't know anything about machinery. Oh well, I'll pretend I didn't notice it. I'll keep this wrench. It's really useful. I've loosened the robot's shell. The shell is loose now. Do you want a new shell, Joey? Do you mean that welder? That's right. Do you like it? I'll say. It's the Mutt's Nuts. Excellent. How do you like the new shell? It's sleek. Can't wait to use the welder. You be careful with that thing. If I want you to use it, I'll tell you. Exterminate! Exterminate! And cut that out! Go and disable the fuse box in the stores. I could melt through it with my welder. Wouldn't that be dangerous? Very, but I'm feeling reckless. And welding is fun. Take care, Joey. Give me an analysis, Joey. I think it's putty. You're wrong. That's plastic explosive.
Don't move. I have to search you. Do I have to strip off? Definitely not. There's a limit to how far I'm going to look. Hey, that tickles. Open up that coat. Why are you carrying that crowbar? It's got sentimental value. My mother gave it to me. Is that a wrench? I carry it for luck. You're a walking toolbox. Blimey! Smart shades. You can have them if you like. Really? Oh, I could fix them with sticky tape. Is that a can of lubricant? Yes. One squirt is just the job. I'd never be without a can of lubricant. You are now. Cause that can is mine. What the hell is that? It's a sausage sandwich. Can I have it for my lunch? You're welcome. You nicked that key, didn't you? Thank you for your cooperation. By the way, that sweater you're wearing. Don't laugh at my sweater. Oh, I'm not. I think it's brilliant. Will you swap it for my clipboard? Not in a million years. Hey! You'll need a rad suit if you're going in there. Hey, what do you mean? This one is totally rad. I mean protective clothing. Hey, Lamb. When will the elevator be repaired? I don't know. Security have disabled the elevator. I thought you said you work for security. Uh, I'm in a different department. We'll probably have to wait until the intruder has been captured. That could take all day. I shall register a complaint. The council shall hear of this. It's a computer terminal with the word link on it. Excuse me. Yep. What do you want? Speak up. I'm here to inspect the plant. 
Oh, I'm allergic to plants. They give me sores and boils. I meant the power plant. Well, what's stopping ya? Who are you anyway? My name's Foster. Stay away from him, Rob. He's a human bomb. What are you talking about? He's got a fuse in his mouth. That's a cigarette. He's inhaling the smoke for pleasure. Get serious, Foster. Has security been through here? Yes, they have. Not a moment's peace. Did they find the Sabs yet? I don't think so. Yeah. I hope they string them up. Who do these Sabs represent? You what? I said, you what? Another corporation, you thick wit. Obart, our biggest rivals. You mean we're at war with them? Economically we are, and they're winning. How come? By flooding the market with gimmicky garbage. I want to get out of the city. You what? What do you want to do that for, eh? I don't belong here. Where do you belong, then? I'm from the wilderness. The Gap, you mean? Bloody awful place, full of mutants. Have you ever been there? Not me. I don't want to get contaminated. I've loosened the nut. I've loosened the nut. Try pressing the button on the right. You're in my way, Foster. Try pressing the button again. You've done it, mate. I'll have to fetch old Obin. And you better stay here in case there's an explosion. A loose cable. Now that could be very useful. Fancy doing some welding, Joey? You bet. I want some action. Who's the victim? You can't go using your welder on people. Oh yeah? Who says? Asimov's Laws of Robotics. That's fiction, Foster. It's just something some guy made up. It's sound moral sense. Anyway, what I had in mind was that cable. This sounds like a job for Captain Welder.
Come on, Joey. Hi, my name's Foster. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gallagher. What's going on in this city? Something wonderful. Tell me about it, please. I can't do that. Everything will become apparent when the time is right. What are you doing? Just watching and waiting. What for? I won't know until it happens. I guess not. Are you feeling all right? Never felt better. You look depressed. Don't worry about me. You've got enough to worry about. What do you mean? Who are you? It's too early to tell. I'm newborn. Too much in flux. I don't understand. Do you always talk in riddles? I don't think I do. Maybe it's your perception that's at fault. Maybe your interpretation of what I say differs from the intent of what I mean. Maybe. Can you direct me to the ground level? You're a social transcender. Going up in this world means going down. It's all a question of status. Union City Fish Fanciers Club. Third prize, Tropical Mutant category. That fish must get very bored with its little world. If that's art, I must be missing something. It's a painting of how things used to look. Hello. Welcome to Trevor's Travel Company. Where do you want to go? Can you get me to ground level? Sure, on one of my luxury air coach tours. Coach travel makes me sick. Me too. I prefer to keep my wheels on the ground. What kind of tours do you offer? Well, there's a wide choice. The Grand City Tour, the Economy City Tour, and the Mystery Tour. What's the difference between Grand and Economy? The Economy Tour is cheaper. Exactly the same itinerary, but less prestigious. What's the mystery tour? If I told you, 
It wouldn't be a mystery. Can't you give me a clue? Not until you've booked. The mystery tour sounds fine. I'll reserve your ticket. Now tell me, where does it go? It doesn't go anywhere physically. It's the latest in virtual reality. Oh, not that old turkey. It's almost completely like the real thing. If you say so, but I'm not convinced. I'll take the grand tour. Hmm, just one tiny point. You'll need a decent wardrobe. What's wrong with these clothes? They're fine, for a sheep farm. But what you need is something fashionable. Look who's talking. The Grand Tour is classy, see? You'll be mixing with people of elegance and money. All right, forget the Grand Tour. Book me on the Economy Tour. I'll make your reservation. You can pick up the ticket in a month or two. Can't I have the ticket now? Sorry, there's a waiting list. Is there anything you'd swap for a ticket? I doubt if you've anything which interests me. It doesn't matter. Would you swap a ticket for this magazine? You mean it? Of course I will. It's the T.E. Lawrence Collector's Issue. I've been looking for that for years. Where are we now, kid? I don't know, but I don't like it. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Come on, Joey. Come on, Joey.
It's the elevator which goes back up to the factory. Hey, Lam. Hello, Supervisor. Oh, it's you. I didn't expect to meet you here. How did you gain access to this level? I took the elevator, same as you. You're not following me, are you? I've got better things to do with my time. Is this where you live? Yes, this is Bellevue. Very... nice. Living here makes my job more bearable. But how I wish I could get away sometimes. What I need is a holiday. A break from all this managerial responsibility. Never mind. Hey, Lamb. Would you like this ticket? What's it for, lad? A tour. Wouldn't you like a holiday? You're right. I really deserve a break. You know, I'm so touched. I'm going to give you something in return. I was kind of hoping you might. Something you'll look back on for the rest of your life. Yeah? Hi, lad. A tour of my factory. Oh, great. Meet me there. Uh, you're in for a treat. Come on, Joey. The notice is firmly attached to the elevator. Interlevel access suspended during routine anti-terrorist strike. Security services protecting the community. Hey, Lamb. Is your coat made of real fur? That's right, real beaver fur. Made from the last ten beavers in the world. Do you like it? It's totally cool. And expensive. When do I get the tour you promised me? Well, there's no time like the present. We'll start right now. Now, take a look at this machine. This machine measures the internal bore of the pipes. Accurate to 20 decimal places, whatever that means. 
Impressive, isn't it? All those numbers. I'm sure they mean something. Follow me. I'll show you the next section. This machine is supposed to drive the conveyor, but it's not bloody working. Heads will roll for this. Foreman Potts, why has this machine stopped? Stopped? I've been so busy I didn't notice. Can't I trust you with anything? Look after my guest, Potts. I'll have to leave you to show yourself around. What are you doing now? Checking for cracks with x-rays. You shouldn't be here without a protective suit. You're not wearing one. Lamb told me I didn't qualify. As I'm a D-Link, and a woman. What's so special about these pipes? I'm not sure, but the dimensions of the bore must conform to precise specifications. All that effort for a bit of plumbing? It's suspicious, isn't it? Perhaps they're part of a giant weapon. Oh, come on, that's a bit far-fetched. What are you doing after work? What did you have in mind? Well, an evening at the theater, a walk by the lake in the moonlight, and to finish, a candlelit supper. Sounds great. But first I'll have to get decontaminated. Another time, perhaps. What's a D-Link? D-Link is the lowest social category. When your link status is zero, you forfeit all rights and your freedom to move back the city. How come you didn't know that? I'm an outsider from The Gap. So it's you security you're after. You won't get far without an ID card. Ah, I managed to find one. I bet it won't get you to ground level though. You'll need a link status of eight or more. I have to get to ground level. Look, I really sympathize with you. I could give you my jammer. How come you were made a D-Link? I was caught hacking into Link. Why did you do that? There are areas in Link space used by security. I was trying to discover what they're up to. What do you mean by Link space? The word inside the computer's memory. The abstract projection of Link circuits and data banks. What do you know about the Council? It was one of the Council who came up with a plan to bond his mind with Link and ever since then things have been getting weird. What's your opinion of Lamb? I'm a D-Link, I'm not entitled to an opinion. But to be honest, I think he's a turd. What's a jammer? Bypass software, highly illegal. It gets you past the retina scan to security files. That's a start. Can you let me have the jammer? Give me your ID card. Here's my card. Thanks. This won't take long. What are you doing? Downloading the jammer to your card. There, it's done. Don't worry. I'll fix everything. You're taking a huge risk. No problem. I'll get us both back on Link's files. I've got a discrepancy of 
Hey, lamb. Do you have a problem? Hi, lad. I was hoping to see you. My card isn't working and I can't use the elevator. Perhaps you've been made a D-Link. Don't be so bloody impertinent, lad. What will poor little Cuss Cuss do? Who's Cuss Cuss? My pussy. She has to be fed. What would I do if she died? Make a hat to match your coat? I don't think that's very funny, lad. Besides, cat and beaver fur wouldn't match. I could feed her for you. If I could get into your apartment. You go down to Bellevue, and I'll authorize it so you can. By the way, Cuss Cuss likes to be pampered. Like all women, eh, lad? <laughs> Apart from D-Links, you mean? You need therapy, lamb. Make a hat. I'd be sad. I could if I could get you go down and I'll all by the way like all apart you need Come on, Joey. What a fat cat! Hello, puss. I'd better not stroke it. It might scratch me. I didn't picture Lamb as a reader of books. They're fake. Just empty cardboard boxes. That's pathetic! I could do better. That looks comfortable and inviting. The cushion is covered in grease and cat fur. It's got more buttons than a maternity dress.
Hello. Hi. You look like a man who needs insurance, yeah? Can I interest you in this? A rogue robot policy. I've never heard of that before. It's a safeguard against the possibility of your robot turning on you. Joey would never do that. Aha! So you think. Surveys show that 42% of all domestic droid owners are worried about the risk of attack. This is bullshit, Foster. Don't listen to that moron. Nasty temper that robot's got, yeah? Tell me more about the policy. All you have to do is sign a form. We'll do a probability estimate and give you the results next month. How come it takes so long? We have to strip the robot down and analyze each component. I do not want him handling my parts, Foster. Now I'm definitely not interested. Tell you what, take time to consider it, yeah? Can you help me get to ground level? Ah, what you need is travel insurance, yeah? Just to use an elevator? Hey man, those things are death traps, yeah? Our policy gives you cover for all elevator-related situations. Tell me more. You'll be covered against vertigo, injuries caused by faulty doors, fellow passengers with flatulence. What about being trapped in an elevator? I hate confined spaces. Well, I'm sorry, but that's your problem. Maybe a shrink could help you. Why did you choose a career in insurance? With a name like mine, it was my destiny. I'm Billy Anchor, yeah? Bet that caused problems at school. It certainly did. No joke being first on the register, yeah? Do you have a client called Overman? I'll check the computer files. Do you know the first name? Uh, no. Hmm. Do you know the address? Uh, no. Do you know what sex this person is? Well, presumably he's male. At last we're getting somewhere. Now, what is his link status? I haven't a clue. Never mind. I'll try a search anyway. Name, Overman. Address, unknown. Sex, male, possibly. No, there's no Overman on my records. Do you have a client called Reich? Can't you get the information from Link? I need to know what policies he has. Reich, huh? Uh, what's his first name? Oh, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Thought you said he was your friend. I've got hundreds of Reichs on my files. Never mind. A guy in a rubber raincoat carrying an anchor. Can you interface with that computer, Joey? I could if I wanted to. I'm asking you to do it. Correction, you're ordering me to do it. Don't be pedantic. Just do it. What am I searching for? Anything on Overman for a start. This directory is a hopeless mess. I'm going to reorganize his hard drive. That's better. There's nothing on Overman, though. Use your welder on that statue, Joey. What for? That anchor could be useful. I'm always ready for a spot of welding. Hey! Get your robot away from my statue!
never mind. Hi, who are you? Can't you tell? I'm Mr. Cool. And you're encroaching on my personal space. How can I get out of the city? Have you thought about defecation? Don't you mean defection? What? Isn't that what I said? I asked you about leaving the city. Not bodily processes. You're not making sense. And anyway, you can't leave the city. There's a restriction on travel. That sure is a smart coat. Yeah, cool, ain't it? It makes yours look like really shabby. Where I come from, it's the height of fashion. Oh, where would that be? The wild open spaces. Where people know the true meaning of freedom. I'd sooner to die than dress like that. There are more important things than fashion. Only one I know of, and that's poise. And you've got the poise of a wildebeest on a waltzer. Never mind. Come on, Joey. Will the jammer get me into link space? No, the only access is through the special interface. There's just one little problem. You'll need to get a Schreibman port. How do I get a Schreibman port? Well, you'll have to undergo surgery. I need that like I need a hole in the head. The Schreibman port is a hole in the head. Does Link have any internal security? Well, there'll be foils, naturally. What are they? Intrusion foil programs. Are they dangerous? Well, standard IFPs are simply deterrents. But some high-level foils can be lethal. 
What do you know about the council? It was one of the council who came up with the plan. To bond his mind and ever since then think See you later. Know where I can get a Shreebman port? Do you have medical cover? No, I don't. Don't even consider an operation. You wouldn't believe the blunders made by deranged surgeons. I'm not interested in medical cover. What about your dependents? My only dependent is my robot. And he wants to be terminated when I die. What is your relationship with that robot? We're just good friends. Joey is like a brother to me. I can do you a sibling rivalry policy. I don't think so. Never mind. Good grief, it's positively pornographic. Naked people with extra parts. The things folk do for fashion. Welcome to Burke's Biosurgery. How may I help you? I want a Shreebman port. Your name, please? Robert Foster. There's little chance of seeing the doctor. Why not? I have instructions not to disturb him. Unless you wish to pay cash, of course. Can anyone else supply the port? Oh no. The service is unique to Dr. Burke. What services do you provide? A complete range of fash ops. From personal piercing to cosmetic transplants.
Come on, Joey. Try talking to that hologram, Joey. What for? I need to see the doctor. And she won't let me in. What shall I say to her? Use your natural charm on her. I've got an idea. I'll try the subtle approach. Hey, you! Open that door! I take my orders from Dr. Burke. I take mine from Oberman. Oh! Why didn't you say so before? Good grief! Poor devil. Hello there. You're conscious. Oh yes. Doesn't it hurt? Oh no. I wouldn't have volunteered if it did. Have you brought me any grapes? I'm afraid not. Oh, thank goodness for that. Grapes make me feel quite squeamish. They remind me of eyeballs. I have to go now. Drop by again sometime. Excuse me. Don't make me jump like that. Sorry, didn't realize you were busy. Just practicing. I like to keep my hand in. What can I do for you? I need a Shreveman port. Really? Do you have sufficient credit? All I've got are the clothes I'm wearing. In that case, you require the easy pay scheme. Yes, that sounds perfect. Kidney, lung, or testicles. What? what Which organ do you wish to sell? I'm not selling anything. No parts, no port. Send in the next customer. Excuse me. Maybe I wouldn't miss a kidney. I'll have to run some tests. Stand behind the scanner, please. Turn around, please. I can't use either of them. Why not? They're too good to sell at second hand. I'd have to overprice myself to be profitable. You make money by trading people's organs? What else would I do with them? Open a restaurant? Excuse me. I suppose I could spare a lung. Let's have a look at them first. On the scanner? Yes, please. Hold still, please. Has someone been experimenting on you? Why do you ask that? I've never seen a body quite like yours before. I'm afraid I can't use them. Is there something wrong? Tell me, Doc, I can take it. 
You're simply too healthy. Most bodies would reject your organs. Excuse me. I guess I've no choice, Doc. I'll have to sell you my... It's not as bad as you think. When I said I'd take your testes, I meant after your death. That's a great consolation. All I require from you now is your consent. Take a seat, please. Uh, do you use local anesthetic? Oh no, it doesn't hurt. Any more than having your ears pierced. In that case, I need a general anesthetic. You now have a Schriebman port. You may experience headaches, but don't worry, it's quite normal. Excuse me. Your receptionist certainly is strange. That's my wife you're talking about. You're married to a hologram? She wasn't a hologram when we wed. She died last year, but I decided to keep her. Doesn't the fact that she's dead distress you? No. She's a lot less trouble than when she was alive. Can you get me to ground level, Doc? I have my reputation to consider. If you're determined, you might ask my friend Willy. Just tell him I sent you. He has a rather special policy. I've had a bad knock on the head. Any... After effects? Yeah, pain. Impairment of vision? I keep seeing flying saucers. Any dizziness? Yeah, I can hardly stand. You know, I get exactly the same myself. I wish I knew what causes it. Thanks again for the port, Doc. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Bigger than the one I had as a kid. I used to play with it for hours. What a dump. I wouldn't want to go there. A big female robot with a welding torch. It's a wooden case with lots of little compartments. 
Can you interface with that computer, Joey? That's not a good idea. Why not? Because the system has a virus. How can you tell? Just believe me, I know these things. Did you know your computer has a virus? It can't happen. My robot assures me it does. Get a life. That's just a welder on wheels. Show him, Joey. Analyze his brain patterns. You sure? It's like a cesspit in there. He's obsessed with archaic images of masculinity and his failure to live up to them. He sees the laws banning motorbikes as repressive, a form of institutionalized castration. All right, knock it off. His ideal woman would be a combination of his mother and his first moped. You leave my moped out of this. It doesn't matter. I want one of your special policies. Who sent you? Dr. Burke. The ghoul, huh? He's cool. So, how can I help you? Can you get me out of the city? It's dangerous. Are you sure you've got the balls? That's a delicate subject. Wait here. I have to make a call. Quick! Get that anchor while he's away. And hurry before the jerk gets back. Any luck with your contact? Security have put a hold on comms. Seems there's a saboteur on the loose. Never mind. Come on, Joey. This could be the most stupid thing I've ever done.
it's locked. It's a standard card slot. I heard a little click. Nothing in here but some bottles. It's the Link interface. And I don't like the look of it at all.
So my real name is Robert Overman. But why does Link want me? And what's happened to my father? Seen anything of Obbins? What do you want him for? To mend the pipe in the power plant. Can't you fix it yourself? I wouldn't dare. Well, I haven't seen Obbins all day. He's probably busy. Come on, Joey. Oh no! Joey must have forgotten he'd changed shells. I hope his board isn't broken. Excuse me. Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont. But you can call me Danielle. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. Never mind. What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. I just wondered where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering? Yes. Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh yes, that's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. Never mind. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please? I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? 
No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence, for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Oh, it is exclusive, but uh, seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze and the fact that it's off limits to security. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? What about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. See you later. Won't open. That's probably because it's locked. The door has an old-fashioned lock on it. It's an old trick, but it still works. It's an old map, but it means nothing to me. Excuse me. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Oh, come to... Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. Oh. My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Ah, oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. What other games have you got? Not many, cause they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game, Onan the Barbarian, and Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Don't wear out your thumbs. The leaves are shiny and waxy. Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. 
It filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. Hmm? I haven't done that for months. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. See you later. Hello. Who is this? Security, open up. Mrs. Piermont is not at home. Mrs. Piermont is not at home. Hello. Who is this? It's the dog warden. What are you talking about? I've had complaints about your dog. He's a health risk, madam. I'm not opening the door, so go away. Hello? Your pizza, madam. What kind of pizza? Quattro formaggi, with olives and chilies. My favorite. But I'm on a diet. Hello? It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. I've been scared silly by cranky visitors. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. You know, I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmut was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside when up came his breakfast. Who the hell is Spunky? My dog, of course. Now where was I? Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memories are too painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me 
from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. Are you going to sponsor me now? No, if that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangements. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Colston? Danielle Piermont here. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. It's full of biscuits and dog drool. Hello, Mr. Overman. How did you know my name? You're a member now, sir. It's my business to know all our members. Can I go in now? Certainly. But you're in for a disappointment. How come? It looks smart, with the lights turned low. But in daylight, it's a flipping toilet. Never mind. Excuse me. Can I have a drink, please? No chance. Why not? Nice rules. Excuse me. Hi. Mind if I join you? Well, hello yourself. They call me Babs. Pleased to meet you. See you later. Oh, don't count on it. Hi. Mind if I join you? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Overman. What do you think of the club? The decor is really unpleasant. I chose that myself. I'm Colston, the manager of the club. Pleased to meet you. Oh, never mind. Ha! The trap is baited.
Ha! The... <laughs> what was that splashing noise? Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> Officer Blunt, come and help me, quickly! Robbie, can you help? What's the problem? Poor Spunky's in the lake. He looks as if he's enjoying it. He hates water. Try offering him doggy snacks. An excellent idea, Robert. It's a pity Officer Blunt didn't think of that. It's a pity the muck can swim it all. Just for a second, you scared me, but you're only dummies. They're not human. Someone's been making androids. You don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. This place is spooky. Oh no, not her, not Anita. Her skin is burnt and blistered. She appears to have been exposed to radiation. He doesn't have any eyelashes. Yo, that's horrible. Hey, Lamb. Thanks for the tour. You're welcome. I hope you've learned something about pipes. Oh yes, it was most instructive. From now on, whenever I smell raw sewage, I'll think of you, Gilbert. Let me give you a tip, lad. If you want to get anywhere in this city, you have to bend the rules. In what way? If you don't want to get entangled in red tape, you need insurance, a special policy. See my friend Anchor. He'll help you out.
Hey, lamb. See you later. If that's you, Rob, listen carefully. You're the only one who can help. I was supposed to make contact with an agent from Hobart. Trouble is, the rendezvous was in a park on ground level. And now I'm a dealing, I can't get there. The agent's name is Eduardo. I don't know how you'll get to Link. But beneath the city there are tunnels. The remains of the old subway. That could be a way in. Excuse me. See you later. Tell me about your dandelion game. Ah, it's brilliant. You get chased by these giant yellow weeds. You mean dandelions are yellow? The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. How'd you know the gardener is a fake? He's got green fingers. That's the sign of a naturally talented gardener. I saw him dipping them in the paint. Anyway, the plants are made of plastic. You're a real help, Vincent. No problem, Rob. Don't wear out your thumbs.
Excuse me. You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart-ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them, every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Excuse me. Do you know a girl called Anita? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Why do you want to know? She's been murdered. I found her body in the cathedral. Can't see why you're telling me. Excuse me. What's your name? It's Eduardo. Why? You're Anita's contact, right? How come you know so much? She left a message on her card. Listen, do you know what's happened to Link? I'm totally confused. Link is a living, self-replicating organism. Originally, it served as an advisor to the Council. But it has gradually taken control. How? And why? We're really not sure. Hobart scientists have developed a virus. It will check Link's growth. If we can get it into the system. Will you give me the virus? I can't. It's been downloaded to Link space. Anita was supposed to retrieve it since she had a Shreveman port. So have I. I owe it to Anita to get that virus. No chance. It's bound to be guarded. I can try at least. Excuse me. See you later. Silence in court! Security Services, Department of Justice, Inc. Judge Chutney presiding. Court is now in session. Silence! I recognize that villain. An habitual criminal if ever I saw one. Ah, uh, that's Mr. Greaves, my lord. The counsel for the prosecution. Silence when you speak to me. Now, who is the first contestant? Defendant, my lord. The case of Union Security Services versus Howard Hobbins. Howard Hobbins, come on up. Nice to see you, Howard. You're not nervous, are you? Not really. The defendant is accused of gross contempt and assault of a security officer. Oh, intolerable. What have you got to say for yourself, eh? I've been framed, Your Honour. May I elucidate, my lord? Go on then, but hurry up about it. Officer Blunt was investigating a complaint made against Hobbins. After questioning the defendant, he was the victim of an assault. Bah! Monstrous! Off with his head! Just a flipping minute! Who's defending me? Defence? Is he entitled to any? I'm afraid so, my lord. Upon my soul! Whatever next? Who'd be silly enough to defend this wretch? Very well. 
Let's get on with round one. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. I wish to call Officer Blunt. Call Officer Blunt. Please tell the court what happened. Oh, I was assaulted. And is the culprit present in the court? Ah, that's him in the overalls. I rest my case, my lord. Good. Where's my black cap? Ah, uh, we haven't heard the defence, my lord. Uh, is it really necessary? Oh, go on. Just don't take all day. Now then, Officer Blunt. What was the nature of your injuries? I got very wet. But you didn't suffer any physical harm. I could have caught a nasty cold. Tell the court how you got wet. <clears throat> While patrolling on Bellevue, I was saturated by a sudden shower. Did you ascertain its source? Oh, yeah. I heard laughter from the walkway above. So, you saw the accused pour the liquid? I couldn't see anything. My eyes were full of water. But I'd recognize his laugh anywhere. Just how well do you know Hobbins? I've never met him before. And yet you say you recognized his laughter. Uh, I don't know. Who lodged the complaint against Hobbins? Objection, my lord. Defense is contriving to lead the witness. It was a simple question. I wish to establish the seriousness of the complaint made against my client. I shall permit the witness to answer. However, I'm awarding Mr. Greaves five points for a well-timed interruption. So who did lodge the complaint? It was Daniel Piermont. What was Mrs. Piermont's grievance? Cruelty to her pet dog. I interviewed Hobbins on four occasions, but he still hasn't confessed. Did you examine the dog? I tried to. And? The bugger bit me. No further questions, Your Honor. I wish to call Mrs. Piermont. Call Mrs. Piermont. Hello, darling. Hello, Robbie. Hello, everyone. Silence in court. What was your complaint against Hobbins? He was abused, my little poochie boos. Disgraceful. I haven't had a dog abuse case since the infamous Spaniel Mangle scandals. Did you witness the alleged attack? Not exactly. Then how did you know about it? Did the dog tell you? Officer Blunt reported the incident to me. Had you met Hobbins before this incident? I don't recall ever seeing him. But one takes little notice of mere maintenance men. How would you describe your pet dog? Objection, Your Honor. This is a trial, not a dog show. Objection overruled, Mr. Greaves. I want to get to the bottom of this doggy business. He's an absolute darling, darling. 
Everyone adores him! But Officer Blunt said it bit him. Eh, that would be the uniform. He was mauled by a troop of scouts when he was a puppy. No further questions, Your Honor. I'd like to question the defendant. Here's your starter for ten. Good, good. An excellent opening gambit. That's the sort of questioning I like to hear. None of this did you or did you not nonsense. Ten points to the defense. Did you assault Officer Blunt? Objection, my lord. Why, man, what's wrong? Um, repetition, my lord. Objection overruled. Are you guilty of assault, Howard? Not me. I was fixing one of the cooling pipes, and it burst. So blunt soaking was an accident? Not exactly. Why did the pipe burst? Some joker had cut a power cable and overloaded the steam release in the power station. That's what damaged the cooling pipe. Oh, I see. Did you laugh at Blunt's predicament? Laugh? <laughs> I'd nearly wet me pants. Do you deny assaulting the dog? Objection, my lord. The question has no bearing on the case. It is my duty to hear every sordid detail. Objection overruled. Well, did you assault the dog? I never touched the brute. Do you know Mrs. Piermont personally? I'd only met her once. She wanted me to flush her overflow pipe. No further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Greaves, you may start the bonus round. The facts speak for themselves, my lord. Hobbins is a cruel and callous man with no respect for law and order. I recommend the maximum possible sentence. Any comments from the defense? I don't believe this is happening. This is total madness. You've all been warped in some way. And I think Link is the cause. Silence! I've heard quite enough of this nonsense. So it's time for me to make my judgment. Howard Hobbins, you've won tonight's star prize! Life Imprisonment! However, in view of your service to the city, I'm going to reduce your sentence. Two hours community service. Court dismissed. There's a thumb-sized indentation in the plate. Hmm, it doesn't react to my thumbprint. Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? To the wine cellar. 
Carlson's the only one who can open it. It's programmed to read his fingerprints. Do the rules prohibit me from drinking? No, you can drink all you want, but I can't serve you. You are the bartender, right? But I'm not the cabaret. How come you can get a drink and I can't? I told you, it's the house rules. Colston would fire me if I gave you a drink. Never mind. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sounds, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? You search but find nothing. Excuse me. Thanks again. It's a Excuse me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Oh yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Now, about these prints you requested. Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. Then place your hands in the autodermatum. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh, yes. Quite considerably.
If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. I can't reach it from the subway. It's like a warren built by giant rabbits. There's something in there, something horrible. I'd better not put my fingers in that socket. Uh-oh, the tunnel roof doesn't look too stable. Uh-oh. There's no obvious way of opening it. The outer skin is stretched and weakened. I've exposed the bricks beneath the plaster. It's penetrated the outer skin. Ugh! I made a hole right through the vein! It's 
probably a ventilation grill. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. Allow me to introduce myself. We've already met several times. I am known as Walter, and I am the future. You're not human, are you? Now whatever gave you that idea? I'm obviously not a machine. Or an animal. In fact, I differ little from you. You're talking of a future designed by Link? Certainly. It was not Link itself. Designed by your own fathers. What are Link's plans for the real humans? We are all members of the same family. We can coexist quite peacefully until they disappear through natural wastage. What do you mean, natural wastage? Following the sterilization program, the old humans will slip quietly into extinction. But you need have no concern for the well-being of the human race. Or for the future, come to that. Since you have no future! Pulling the handle has loosened the grill. Bubbling, boiling lava. Boy, that's hot! Better be careful I don't fall in there. How do you feel, Joe? I'm completely operational. And all my circuits are functioning perfectly. That's a relief. Is there any immediate danger? If your presence here is detected, termination is more than likely. I want you to check out the tank room. Please be more specific. I want a detailed report on everything, especially that android. 
the android could be dangerous. Exactly. I don't want to risk my neck. The growth tanks contain developing androids. Nourishment is supplied from a tank. The temperature is maintained by convection from an underground source. The tank contains chemicals on which the androids feed. So, without it they die? Affirmative. Is there a way of draining the tank? Manual evacuation is achieved by opening a tap. That will distract the android technician. Hello! I was not expecting a visitor. A puddle? The tank must be leaking. Humans one, androids nil. There's a weird fetus thing floating in it. Whoever said babies were cute? There's a rubbery man in there. So that's how androids are created. This tank isn't occupied. You've saved me the bother of coming to find you. I should have guessed you were part of all this. Why do you think Reich had to die when he tried to kill you? Or that meddling girl who tried to help you escape? Link needs you alive, Overman. That's why it planned this family reunion. Get out while you can, Rob. Stop! Tell me what you want from me! You won't be needing this robot where you're going. <laughs> Poor Joey didn't last long in that shell. I'll take his board as a memento. Aha! Another ID card from my collection.
No way of opening it. There are strands of tissue suspended in this tank. Ha! The virus has caused the program to crash. The liquid in the tank has burned my hand! Whoa! Whoa! Instant frostbite if I put my hand in there. is frozen now. It's a fully formed android body. How do you feel, Joey? I'm not entirely sure, sir. I feel soft. And curiously vulnerable. That's because you're practically human. And this feeling of insecurity is natural? Oh yeah, you'll get used to it. By the way, sir, take my advice. Don't wake the other androids. Why not? If they've been programmed, they'll terminate you. Thanks for saving me from the android. My actions were the only logical course. What I cannot comprehend is how an android could behave in such an irrational manner. Why, it was almost as if he was human. What did he mean by a family reunion? Since your mother was killed, that leaves only... My father. You never speak of him, do you? 
That's because I can't remember him. Can or won't, sir. Are we close to Link's core? Almost certainly, sir. I can sense its presence in a strange and mysterious way. Like the old man, the pictures in the campfire. He saw it too, the evil beneath the city. And then he died with the rest of the tribe. This isn't the time for remorse, sir. You must destroy the evil and avenge their deaths. Never mind. That tickles. Place your hand on that lock sensor. With pleasure, sir. Hey, rubber man! What's wrong with you? I appear to have a problem, sir. My hand has melted onto the door. I don't like to leave you here. I'll be free in no time, sir. Have you got an axe? No, I haven't. Why? You could have used it to sever my hand. That's unthinkable. Still stuck? I'm afraid so, sir. It's frustrating, to say the least. Never mind. Hey, rubber man! It's a grisly thought. But maybe I can snip your fingers with these shears. I had already thought of that, sir. Unfortunately, it couldn't be done. My skin is far tougher than yours. It's sucking and stretching out for nourishment. Yes, I've poisoned the sludge. This could be the second most stupid thing I've ever done. Father? Is that Robert? Oh, my son. Why did you come here? I thought you'd be glad to see me. I did everything I could to stop you. You're in terrible danger. Get away. I'm taking you with me. How do I disconnect you from the machine? Listen to me. Link needs a replacement for my brain. And the best choice was someone related by blood. It sent Reich and his goons to bring you here. Link killed Reich when he threatened you. But if Link wanted me alive, why did it wreck the helicopter? That was my doing, Robert. I managed to wrest control from Link for a few seconds, long enough to cause the crash. I hope to spare you my fate, Robert. Joey, you're just in time. Uh, I thought you might need a hand, sir. I've got a bad feeling about this, sir. What happened, father? Link has rejected me. 
and without it, I'll die. Help me, quickly! What do you want me to do, sir? Shut down the machine. Do you think that's advisable, sir? The Link computer controls everything in the city. A shutdown could be catastrophic. Are you all right, sir? Do I look all right? Help! Mr. Foster? Foster is no more. I am Link. I am the future. This could be the... Father, hey, sir, how, why did I th I did during I'm taking how do I do listen link and the it's link but why did it that was my I'm at long and I hope Joey uh, I've got a bad What happened father Link has rejected me and without it I'll die Help me quickly What do you want me to do sir Sit in that chair. Are you going to plug me into Link, sir? I hope you know what you're doing. Something is happening, I think. Yes, I'm gaining control. I found my destiny, Mr. Foster. Can you ever forgive me, Robert? For letting your machine kill my mother? Please, try to understand. It was the greatest experiment ever devised. Tapping the unexplored depths of the human brain. The potential of the subconscious mind. You fused with this machine deliberately? It was a well-considered plan, my boy. Well-considered? It was nothing but megalomania. I had a dream. The fusion process was an apparent success, but the computer shared access to my human failings. It learned of greed, of vanity. It reveled in the power it wielded. I was almost powerless in the hands of this monster. Which is the monster, Father? The computer or you? Robert. Oh, Robert! You were my only reason for wanting to live. Father? Father! Too late! It's over now. About the vacancy in the sewage grading plant, Howard. Perhaps we should assign the position to Gilbert Lamb. Hello, Mr. Hobbins. Hello, son. What do you want? I've come to say goodbye. You still plan to go back to the Gap? Yeah, I've had it with city life. I'm certainly gonna miss you both. Why don't you come too? We got enough to do. Get in Union City back to normal. I reckon you'll make a great team. Will you come back to visit us, sir? I'm not sure about that, Joey. But I'll be thinking of you. Oh, by the way, Mr. Hobbins. Here's your wrench. Thanks, son. I'll need that if Joey gives me any trouble. Goodbye, friends. And thanks. Be vigilant. <laughs>